friction is the force that slows down or obstructs the motion of one object against another. It is present in almost every activity, from bicycle riding to holding objects to walking and pushing, snowboarding, and more. Scientists believe that friction is caused by bumps and cracks on two surfaces catching on one another. And by bonds that form between atoms and molecules on the objects. When two smooth surfaces make contact, such as a cardboard box on a waxed floor, there is often less friction because there are smaller and fewer bumps on each side. Rougher surfaces, such as sandpaper and unfinished wood, have bigger and more bumps, and therefore create a greater amount of friction. Heavier objects create more friction because they increase the pressure between two surfaces. This increases the number of bumps that come into contact and the number of bonds that form between atoms and molecules. Objects made of or coated with a substance like Teflon form few bonds. They usually cause less friction than objects made of a material that forms many bonds, such as rubber or wood. When two surfaces slide against each other. Such as a brake and wheel, they cause sliding friction. Sliding friction resists the movement of an object and makes it slow down, unless another force keeps it moving. When one surface rolls against another, such as a wheel on the ground, it causes rolling friction. Rolling friction resists the motion of the rolling object and slows it down, unless another force keeps it moving. When two surfaces are in contact but not in motion, such as a bicycle's kickstand on the ground, they cause static friction. Static friction makes it difficult to begin moving an object. When motionless, the two surfaces can form more and stronger bonds than if they were moving. So static friction is usually harder to overcome than sliding or rolling friction. In this case, it prevents the kickstand from moving, so the kickstand can support the bicycle. Some objects, such as mountain bike tires, work best when friction is high. These tires create a lot of friction by having a sticky and bumpy rubber surface. Other objects, such as bicycle chains, work best when friction is low. Lubricants, such as oil, reduce friction by coating surfaces and keeping them from touching and sticking to each other.